What's going on you guys? Uh, today I decided to show you something that I made for desktop themes. Actually these are some custom themes I created. Just like Octavio Gaten does with the older versions of Windows. So I decided to do something similar to what he did. Since I decided to make my since he made a couple of custom themes, I decided to make some as well. Which it took like a few hours to create. Very simple to do, so I'll go ahead and show you a few of mine that I created. Starting off, we're going to be talking about the Angry Grandpa theme. The Angry Grandpa theme is based off the Angry Grandpa show. That's most commonly found on YouTube and Break.com. I kind of made that color scheme myself. And I found that picture off the internet from his own fan page. And I just added that in where it says from the Angry Grandpa show. And I, I borrowed a few icons from the other themes. I made that, found some cursors from other themes off the internet. And and I used some sounds from a sound from a soundboard off the internet. And a few off of other random videos on YouTube that I was able to come across. Yeah, and it and about the sounds, they kinda got some offensive language. So what like if you click on something, like what listen. Yo, motherfucker. I need clothes for tomorrow. And even when I do this, it, I'll tell you shut the fuck up! But usually some of the sounds are pretty long, but if you don't want to have much sound, I even made a basic version of the thing which uses the default, half of the default settings. As you see, I, it doesn't have no icons, no, no, no animated cursor, or it has a few sounds from the, from the other, from the other Angry Grandpa theme, same background. You'll get a few sounds, but not all of them have the offensive language. I just added a few in because I decided to make a basic theme, which doesn't have all a lot of uh, sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about this next theme called Ice Windows. I also made two versions of this theme. Yeah, I even you gave it a touch, added a little touch of blue. And I decided to remake this theme with. And has a lot some some sounds I added from a, another theme. So here's some here's a preview of some of the sounds what they sound like. <laughs> That's a preview of some of the sounds. So, and I even made a, another version which has the XP logo with the same sounds, the aim of everything. If you want to use it on your XP computer. I even made a Mac OS 10 using some of the some of the, with the classic ma sounds from the older versions of Mac OS. I used some of the icons. I even used the old classic Mac OS 10 cursor. And as you see, uh, kind of it didn't ha have a or. So I decided I went for a shutdown sound, I um, created, I made one, just to have a shutdown sound like most themes would have. And I used a classic Mac OS startup, which I'm going to preview it for you guys. I even made an Ubuntu theme which is based off of Ubuntu. 
and then it's also fully functional with any version of Windows because this one uses the solid title bars and I'll show you what it sounds like. It sounds like the real Ubuntu a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and play around with the theme. So yeah, I even made an unofficial Windows 2000 theme. Similar to the one that you could find, because in Windows 2000 they never made a theme, so I decided to make my own Windows 2000 theme, which is not the it's unofficial, at least it's a tribute to Windows 2000. It's kind of like the more Windows theme, except I made it a little different. I added in some gradient title bars, borrowed a few sounds from the Windows 98 high color theme. I added in some different fonts and I added some added a few different cursors in it. And I used some from that unofficial Windows 2000 beta theme. Go play some of the sounds. But it could be a little annoying for some of you because I added a, the closed program and open program sound event. And this is the Windows Electrify theme, which is similar to the Thunder Windows theme that's commonly found on the internet, except this one's a little different because I added in a touch of purple. which I added a little, some lavender in it. I added a purple arrow, which is pretty much, I had, used a lilac color scheme, but I did a little touch, I touched it up a bit to make it look more cooler. I found a, a better network neighborhood icon. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm going to switch it back to my default settings. I have to save it just the regular default Windows as a color scheme. So, yeah. Like I was saying, that they are available for download. Right here, just click on it. and be sure to save them and extract them to the actual location and I hope you guys enjoyed them let me know what you guys think and I do have a few requested videos to come across that I need to take care of but when I get some time I will I got one unpending whenever I get a chance which is going to be Windows 98 running on the Dell Dimension XPS T500 I'm going to get to that video going to get to that computer but whenever I get some time, I go visit my grandparents' house because that's where the computer's at. And I got another video I'm that I'm gonna try and work on: Windows 95 running on the ThinkPad T21. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.